Duration is uh, one way to uh, quantify the interest rate uh, risk on a bond. And uh, why is it uh, preferred to the uh, full valuation method? Well, uh, the full valuation method is obviously much more complicated. you got to look at uh, different cash flows, rate shock scenarios, reinvestment rate risk, all kinds of stuff like that. Uh, duration is uh, actually a uh, simpler view, and you might be questioning after watching this video uh, and how simple it is. Uh, okay, we have a uh, bond XYZ, and then we have the prize. I've drawn there, and then we have a graph for the yield. Now, the formula for duration is simply uh, you take V negative, which is the price uh, for a yield decline. Uh, that means the price is rising, so that's a good thing. Uh, and then we subtract the uh, price for the yield increase, which is known as V plus. Now, remember that uh, prices are obviously inversely related to uh, interest rate changes. And then we're going to take this formula, we're going to divide that by 2 times uh, V0, which is the current price of the bond. And then we multiply that times the change in yield, or the expected change in yield for a rate shot. And that gives us a, a line that goes to look something like this. It says duration. Now, if you'll notice, this duration line here is a uh, straight line, or a, it's on a diagonal. Now, uh, duration is a, a simple valuation approach, or the uh, theoretical price of uh, what a bond should be. Now, if we draw a line here, this is, might look like something what the actual uh, price of the bond would be, and if you'll notice, it's uh, convex. So, uh, if you guess further, you can tell that uh, duration is a good measure uh, for small yield changes, or interest rate changes and it is not a very good measure uh, for large changes in uh, yield. Now, convexity of bonds can change. Let's say this blue line here is more convex, and the yellow line, it's, the bond is even more convex. Uh, we just look at that uh, as uh, convexity. Now, this can get even more complicated in that, uh, let's say, for example, you have a callable bond, uh, which has uh, negative convexity, where the, the price doesn't rise as much uh, due to the fact that the bond is callable or uh, redeemable. So you can't make as much when uh, the yields uh, fall. On the flip side, we have uh, the uh, portable bond, which uh, is good for bondholders, or has value because uh, it has positive convexity in that um, if something bad happens, uh, the bondholders can redeem the bond uh, for a higher price than they would be able to do under normal circumstances. And uh, that concludes our uh, brief overview of uh, bond duration. Thank you for watching.